Hello everyone, welcome to your very own channel Programming Knowledge and in this particular lecture we are going to learn about how to work with objects in JavaScript. So objects are basically it is one of the best way to store and organize your data right so that you can use it in your real world projects. It is one of the most important concept because all the uh, data which you store will always you found it in a form of JSON or in a key colon value pair. So it is very important for you to learn the Java objects in JavaScript and that we are going to cover in today's tutorial. Let's start. Let's go to the Visual Studio Code and understand that what is objects. So we are on our Visual Studio Code and uh, let's understand that what is the definition of objects, right? So first object. So what is an object? So basically object is a collection, right? Object is basically used to collect different values. And this is the main role of object. But what make it different and special is that object is a key colon value your object is key colon value right it is a key value pair basically so whatever the value you stored inside a object are in the form of key colon value and we will uh, learn it later that how we can write the syntax of the objects but uh, one more thing which you uh, need to understand is that the key the key is called a property and your value can be of any data type now you need to read it once that the key key of an object is basically a property a property whose value you will assign right and that particular value can be of any data type like it could be either uh, integer string boolean object uh, array anything anything which you want to store could you can store it inside a key uh, sorry value right okay so let's first understand that what is the syntax what is the syntax of an object right okay syntax so for writing an object what you need to do is that first declare a variable let's say a person right and then for writing an object you need to put a curly bracket this now this is actually your object right this curly bracket is actually your object and whatever you store inside of it will be the element of an object right so inside this curly bracket i am going to write the key colon value pairs right so uh, uh, a person will have a name so this name is basically a what this name is basically a property and the we are going to assign a value to this name that is piyush right so this is what key colon value this is how it looks this is the value this is the key and this is the colon right and then you put a comma and you can write another key colon value pair right uh, let's say age so the age is 21 and let's say city and the city will be let's say mumbai right so this is how you write your what object this is the basic syntax of your object right i hope you get it simple you need to assign a variable inside of which you will store the object this object is stored inside a curly bracket and inside of that curly bracket we write the values in a key colon value pairs and this is how it is written so this is the basic syntax of your object i hope you get it right okay let's move forward and understand that how to access object properties right how to access any particular property property is what this key right so how to access the value of any key if i want to uh, like print piyush from the object person then how i can do that so for that what you need to do first uh, let's 
call a console here inside of it you need to first write the name of the object object name is person so write the name of the person and then you need to put a dot uh, you have put the dot here now whatever key you want to like you want that the value of whatever key you want to print or you want to execute you simply need to write the name of that key now like uh, a person the object person i want to uh, print the value piyush a piyush is stored inside a key named name right so just write the name here name right and done this is how you actually going to print the value piyush if you want to uh, print 21 from that uh, object uh, person then you simply need to write person dot age right now let's go on the console and see that how it is looking mm, it is here right and you can see here the 21 is printed right so this is how you actually print the values from the in, uh, particular object or you can say that how this is how you access the object properties right uh, let's print city I want to print the city name from this particular object for that I have written person dot city and then let's go to the console and you can see the Mumbai is printed here right so this is how you uh, actually access elements from the object now if you want to update 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 the values right if I want to update any uh, particular value then what I have to do like in the name right i want to change the name i want to change this name from Pius to rahul right so uh, what i need to do uh, for that it is very easy first of all right uh, like if you have studied about array earlier it is uh, it is completely same right so what you need to do is just simply call the object by its name person and then put a dot and you want to change the value of which key name so just write the name here name right okay name now put an equals to and then write whatever value you want to assign simply i want to assign it a rahul right rahul now let's print this person now let's print this person now let's print the object now when you go on your console you will see here this is how uh, your console has been written and here the name is what Rahul now as you can see the name is Rahul the name got changed from Piyush to Rahul so this is how you update the values in an object I hope you get it right okay now if you I want to add new properties or new key to an object add new key right so what I need to do simply it is also a very simple method you simply need not to worry that uh, what will the syntax for adding new keys or anything dif difficult you just simply need to write the things like the same how you return it here for updating the values right like if i want to add a gender also so what i need to do simply write the name of the object then the dot then whatever key you want to assign or add inside an object just write the name of that key like gender right and then put a equals to and whatever value you want to assign like male right and then if i go to our console sorry and not here now i when i go to the, our console you can see here a new key is now added that is gender the gender is now male this was not the part of the object which we created earlier it was having three different keys right name age and city but after adding a new key you can see here it is now having four different values right and uh, the gender is having male so this is how you add a new key to your object i hope you get it right now uh, how to delete a particular key right if i want to remove this detail like i want to remove the city from the object now how i can delete it uh, it is also very simple just you need to do one thing that you have to write delete first and then write the address of that particular key the address is written how it is written by just first write the name of the object and then put a dot and then write that particular key which you want to delete like i want to delete city just write the name city here right and then it's done 
now let's simply print console dot log and person right let's comment it down okay now let's see that whether our object is having the city in its uh, all elements or not so let's go to the console and now you can see the city is now removed the city is now removed how because we deleted it we deleted it with delete keyword right i hope you get it fine now one more thing which you need to understand that in an object we can also write a nested object inside an object we can write a nest another object that is what like uh, if you're creating an object if you see here if i'm creating an object like let person equals to this and if i want an object inside that particular object like if i want that they, they are different keys and i want a one key will should have a object inside of it so then this can also be done right this is the property which javascript provides to you that you can create an object inside an object how it is done let me show you uh, let's create an another object let's say let uh, a new object is employee right uh, so i'm writing the syntax for it uh, let's say name name uh, name is what piyush and then uh, in the address i'm going to create a new object like i have written the key and at the value i am writing an object and then inside of it i am going to create a, a new keys like city city is what city is uh, a uttar pradesh right and then uh, a pin code is what pin code is but let's write random number so this is how i have created an object and inside of that object i have created another object which is stored inside a key of that first object i hope you get it right yeah so this is how you create a nested object and if you want to assign another any value inside of it like let's first uh, call address let's first see that what value this address key is showing to me so for that i am going to write console dot log and first write the name of the object that is employee now put a dot now put a key which you want to print so i want to access this address so let's write the address here and let's see that what value it is showing to me so at the console i am getting two different keys here because this ad employee dot address is actually an another object because here address is what address is storing an object inside of it now so when you access this address you are getting an object inside of which there are two different keys are here city and pin which is get printed here now if i want to access this pin what i need to do you need to go inside of this address so first i uh, i called employee which was the parent object inside of it i have called a uh, address which was a key of this employee but now this address is the parent of this pin right so i have to write another dot and then i will call pin right and now if i try to access it i will get the key pin value so this is how you actually print or i say that access the values inside the nested object so this these are the main concept of your object i hope you get all the concepts clearly uh, so this was all for today's tutorial thank you so much for watching uh, we'll see you later thank you so much bye